Have you ever walked into a room where you felt the energy was so low you had to immediately leave? Or maybe you met a person whose vibe immediately pulled you away. Can you recall a place where you feel at peace? A place you'd normally go to relax and to recharge your batteries? The reason I'm asking you this is to make you aware of the fact that you are very sensitive to the energies around you. Energies that affect and influence your life, whether you're conscious of them or not. I am pretty sure that that has happened to you not once, but many times in your life. And this is what we're going to investigate today. The reason this is such an important topic to discuss is because these energies don't affect just you, but every physical object or being on this planet. Every animal, person, rock or tree is affected by it. So without further ado, let's dive deeper into this discussion. You've probably heard before that a certain person has such good or bad energy. And in general, you tend to spend time in places and to make friends only with those who make you feel good or match your energy. You intuitively know, even without having a dialogue with somebody, what they're about, what their personality is like, or you might even get a sense of somebody's thoughts before you get to know them. But how is that the case? How can you know people's intentions even without talking to them? What is this energy and why does it matter so much? Well, every person's energy gets transmitted to the universe. And same as the other people, you emit energy to the universe too. Your energy or others' energy is a combination of thoughts, feelings, words, moods, beliefs, and actions. All of these combined represent somebody's vibe, vibe that's being sent through wave patterns in what is called the energy field or the matrix. My energy, your energy, your neighbor's energy, and your friend's energy, everything gets accumulated in this energy field. And this is what is called our collective consciousness. In simpler terms, this energy field, the matrix or the collective consciousness is the reality we all find ourselves living in. And here is where things get interesting. If everything and everyone contributes to the matrix by sending its energy, the matrix does exactly the same thing by sending its energy back to us. It's an exchange of energies. This energy field or the collective consciousness is such a powerful vibe that not only affects you and other people, but every other living being and physical object. Now, here is the deal. Because the entire world is exchanging energies all the time, your vibe is very much influenced by everyone else's energy and not only yours. Natural disasters such as tornadoes, tsunamis, volcanic eruptions, wildfires, widespread illnesses, pandemics, wars or any acts of violence, mass shootings, or on the opposite spectrum, worldwide wellness, worldwide peace, and acts of goodwill. All of these events are sponsored by the collective consciousness. In fact, everything that's happening around you is sponsored by it. What you need to understand here is that when the matrix is sending its energy back to us, the energy that we get from it is exactly what we all send. To put this straight, my energy, your energy, your uncle's energy, as well as the energy of a tree or a flower is affecting the world either in a good or in a bad way. Sending off good vibes is just another expression to illustrate this aspect, as most people refer to this idea so often without even knowing what they are doing. As when you deeply think of someone, the sponsoring thought affects them immediately. However, the opposite might occur too as sending off bad vibes is not unusual. I believe this is such an important topic to discuss because we are all responsible for the energy we communicate to the universe. The famous sayings, the change comes from within, or to change the world, you must first create that change in yourself, are 100% accurate. As for when you can change your thoughts and actions, your energy changes, thus the matrix changes too. If enough people can change their vibe, the world would be and look very much different. This is why large meditation gatherings happen sometimes, and now I hope you can understand why. The collective consciousness is no longer something you can ignore, as you are now 100% responsible for the energy you emit to the universe. I hope you can relate to the examples I gave you, and if not, this is something you can actually try. Just keep an open mind and be receptive when it comes to picking up the vibes around. Please don't forget to like this video if you liked it, and I hope I'll see you again in the next video. 
My purpose here is to help individuals to make a change for the better by giving them all the resources they need to succeed. By releasing these short videos, I hope I can spread awareness about the things that matter the most in life, ultimately supporting and promoting a healthy development in each person who seeks to grow and evolve. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.